Welcome back. It's 5.30, and we begin tonight with new questions about how much Franklin residents are being told about contamination in their community. 13 Investigates has discovered disturbing test results that neither the mayor nor environmental officials shared during a recent update. Our Sandra Chapman is here tonight at 5.30 with the staggering numbers that were omitted. I've called this press conference in an effort to report the facts about our environmental testing. In the midst of promises and multiple presentations. We promised in, in the last public meeting that we held to be transparent. 13 investigates discovered the omission of some alarming data. And you'll see this blue line here is this sewer. Test results from two sewer samples reveal very high detections of two cancer causing chemicals. Take a look. In one sample, TCE registered 250 times over the soil gas screening level that IDEM considers safe. In another, TCE 148 times over the limit. PCE, another volatile organic compound, was also extraordinarily high in the same sewers. One of them 53 times over IDEM's residential soil gas screening level. These amounts represent numbers the public has not seen in the Franklin investigation until now. But no one talked about those numbers. The problem area at Hamilton Avenue and Forsyth Street was simply called an environmental impact. And we are focused on this uh, sewer lateral right here that did show elevated levels, not within the sewer necessarily, but on, in the soil gas and in, in one groundwater sample. This right here, this is about the size of the contamination that's been found. So I just want to put that in perspective. While the mayor and IDEM declared there was no specific widespread contamination problem, Michael Harris with the US EPA was a bit more cautious. We need a little bit more time to, to uh, figure out exactly what's going on if there's a problem. So uh, I don't want to alarm uh, the community now uh, by any means. According to Harris, at least 12 homes are in the path of the sewer contamination. So far, one home has been tested, but Harris says a privacy agreement prevents him from sharing the results. These contaminants may be giving off vapors that can seep into people's yards or homes. When asked point blank if the contamination was unsafe, Mayor Barnett did not mention the numbers or punt to the experts who could answer. I'm not the expert to say, is it dangerous? I've been told it's not dangerous. The EPA now says a new round of sewer gas results will be available in October. The agency also promised to share data with health agencies so they can answer residents' questions about potential health concerns. We asked to speak with the mayor but was told he would not comment about this data and that the city is planning another community meeting. Back to you.